I'll let people come in. It's good to be with my sister. Namaste. Yeah. Greetings to all. Yeah. Ah, this is just the right music you put on now, Todd. <laughs> it is. It's beautiful. Yes. Can you hear it all right? Yeah. It's beautiful. Love it. And it's just the space was which I'm in now, which you just told about. Me too. Oh, how wonderful. That's fantastic. Yeah. You're my sister. Yes. You're my brother. Let people come in. Yes. I'll share the... Uh, experience that you've been having, I've been having, in this vortex we're all a part of. Yes. Stripped down to the core. Yeah. We are. Yes. It's necessary. You see, I have the tissue here. <laughs> yeah. I got some here too. <laughs> <laughs> just in case. Uh, yeah. Yes. Let's just let this sink in. Yes. Hello, everybody. 21 people in the house so far. If these shows resonate with you. Please share. We're being suppressed again by Facebook, but that's okay. God, so many people here. Aline, my dear friend from Norway, Shah Saz, Kathy. Michaela, Nasia Sia, Lauren Dogan, Marion Cooper, Aluna Rose, Diane McLaughlin, Karen Starr, Ricky Hint, Paula Walsh, Marita, Val Beshnik, Alexa Isra, Susan Curtis, Karen Riley. Oh my God, I just got a huge crown chakra explosion. Jan Schuerer, Susie Jones, Gisela Gonzalez. It's very, very expansive space now. It's just, yeah, it is. I mean, I call for, for all the, my guides, all that I'm connected with, all my higher aspects. Um, and it's just mind blowing. It's just, wow. Jenny Tarleton. Okay, let's roll it out. I don't know how many times we've gotten together, but uh, so many of the connections we've made over the last few years, all of us, have, have been beyond words. You know, energy is energy, and we've felt this energy no matter what words we've written or said to each other. Yes. Grace, Grace is a, is a sister to me, and I've never met her in the flesh, and we don't have to have that occurrence no. in this time we live in now so everybody welcome to soul speaks 5d soldier one network and welcome back my dear beloved sister grace solaris and let me just say on behalf of everybody i've said it on many of the shows in the last week um our deepest condolences to you and your family we know your mother passed on february 18th we know she transitioned we know that energy cannot be destroyed it cannot be uh, killed, you know. Yes, um, exactly. They were all with us, and so many of us have had people transition, and and so yeah. many of us have had um, experiences where we know they're not, they're not, uh, they're not gone. Yeah, you know, the veil, the veils are lifted. So, thank you for yeah. being brave and courageous. I say, 
I used to say that it's spontaneous, intuitive, creative, and imaginative, and I added the word courageous to the energy that we're trying to put out there. So that's what you represent. So thank you for coming. Thank, thank you, you so much for, for having me. Uh, I'm so happy to be with everyone here and to share this magic of this moment, all the love that we can all feel now, you know, as the veils have lifted and um, especially of, of late, these old timelines that have closed has really made it, um, of course, hard to some, yes, uh, to, to really navigate in this new space where, you know, it's, many have felt a lot of disorientation. And that's, of course, because it's like you actually finished your own old incarnation. I mean, you incarnated here on this earth, 3D, right? And um, so what you have done, all the things that you're going to, all your path has led up to this point, yes, to your the coronation, which is now the completion of the ascension. And um, so it has been a very long journey for many of us. There are also people that have not been on this journey so long, but it doesn't matter at all. Uh, we all have our individual journeys. Um, um, but it's uh, because we feel kind of this completion now and it's like the bridges behind us are just gone you know there's no way to turn back to the old ways of uh, thinking of behaving and uh, so it's really graduation time <laughs> <laughs> and uh, so so there's not really an option you know to continue the old way so of course so those that still are struggling with um you know um shedding of the old ways of that are in maybe difficult situations relationships whatever <laughs> it's really a time now to really do what you know that you need to do because it, you know if you don't move that step forwards now it's just gonna be very tricky turbulent um because with this new heightened frequency on the earth, uh, it just, there's so much frequency, yeah? Uh, um, so when we are in ne neglectance or repression, it, it just doesn't work, you know, because it will be pulled to the surface. And um, so this will create a lot of, um, yeah, friction. I would just call it friction, energetical friction. So it can turn out as anxiety, even depression, and even panic attacks, you know. And I've had clients of late, um, several that I know have really been so far that they have said, you know, I really don't want to be here anymore. So I mean, even having, you know, feelings of, you know, I'm done here, I had enough, you know. I don't see the point, but that's natural. That's because all the, the, the old timelines have closed now. So you, 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 in a way, you can't see your purpose unless you are stepping forward and just saying yes, because you know inside your heart, you know very well that you came here to make a difference. And we all did that. All that are here at this point in Canada, we all have uh, some tasks here to fulfill. We all have roles to play, and and now the the, the real stuff is is gonna stop start now. You know, really yeah. getting into our soul plan, into planetary service, and so um, and this upcoming equinox. Um, I have been told from my guides that it's really. Um, a portal now, a huge portal where we have the opportunity through these energies supporting this to step into service as a collective. Because this new, um, 
level of evolution of, of humanity now is really about moving in uh, to collective service. You know, there have been many of us that have been of the first wave, you know, we've been, you know, working in service for the last 20, 30 years or whatever. Um, some call them the first waves. Doesn't matter all those names. But, um, so, so, um, but at that time, it was very much, uh, the path of the lone wolf, you know, uh, mm -hmm. uh but now you really connect as all the veils have fallen away and we have merged all those aspects ourselves, our human aspects, as well as all the higher aspects, whether it's angelic aspects, whether it's galactic aspects, uh, it could be also aspects from inner earth, from the fairy kingdoms, whatever, whatever aspects. I mean, we are all. Yeah. But so it's not that, I mean, you can say, if you have to merge with all those aspects, how can I ever, you know, but it's not about that. It's just there are certain aspects that are important for you to integrate right now, and they will automatically show up. They will present yeah. themselves because you need them for your, the next leg of your soul plan to integrate them because you will use certain attributes um, offered by those higher aspects to fulfill your soul plan. Yeah. Uh, so, so... And after we have integrated all this, then um, you are ready to merge with your soul monad. And this is really this time now when you connect fully with your soul monad. And again, they can present. There are some members, maybe some people, you know, from across the globe that you haven't seen, but you just feel, you know, family, brother, sister, you feel this so close connection. And um, I mean, their soul family and then the soul monad, that's, you know, more, it's like there's a soul group, soul family. So it's like a trick that it just get more and more, more down into one essence. So your soul monad is uh, contains of those 144 souls. Um, and they do also present themselves now. I mean, they have for the last years, I have started to meet some and I know many have um, started to come together as we have started to becoming complete. After we have achieved divine union, they, they will start to present themselves. So some of them will be known to us. Others will maybe not be known yet. And but they will start to turn up more and more now because it's really time now that we uh, unite and we start to serve as soul monad. Um, so and 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 so that our new task, that our new a new soul plan, and so um, for this equinox, um, I had an activation the other day. Actually, I was in the middle of giving someone healing, and <laughs> then they just come in from the sideline as they often do, and. Um, um gave me some intel and some information and then i received um an activation and uh, then they told me about this equinox that um now we have this opportunity for those that are ready to to really step forward now and say yes uh, in your nakedness in your rawness in your simply I don't know what's going to happen. Just show up and just surrender and say yes. Yeah. This is what it's about now. And uh, fully let go and, and, you know, really for the eye to step aside. Yeah. Uh, and so to become an instrument of love. And to those that are really ready to do this now, and I sense there's a lot of people out there that are really ready because they just had it. They just had yeah. enough. They just had enough of this old play, this old game. And now the real stuff starts. Yes. And, um, so, 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 I mean, we have, we can now see everything from a higher perspective also. So this equinox really offers this doorway into this, um, uh, Yes, into the new earth. It, it, it's already here, right? We are here now. 
it's happening. The the the, the timelines have, have um, collapsed. Uh, so so this is also this this um, not only because we have uh, closed off this old incarnations as we have fulfilled our ascension now, but it's also this uh, disorientation is also because the timelines have closed. So we are like a you know where am I? You know what, what's yeah, going on I, here? And 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 yeah. and one moment, and then you can feel this parallel existence. Yeah. Uh, uh, all these things going on at the same time. So you're like, wow. Do you, do you feel, I mean, I love what you're saying because, because, you know, for so long in the past few years, the disorientation has really accentuated in our shadows and yes. and, and our work on ourself. And that's not changing. But I love what you said is because the disorientation now is really a result of the veils being gone. And mm -hmm. it's just like, how do you get used to this? And I also yeah. want to say too about, you know, we've we've gone the many miles, the many lives, we paid the prices. And now, yes, it's been difficult, but we're past it. We made it. We showed up. Yes. Every one of us showed up. And now it, there's something going on, especially this mm -hmm. month. We had the 333 yes. on the 3rd, 333 on the 12th. The Equinox is a 333. People are yes. reporting all kinds of stuff all over the world, off the mainstream. Yes. And, and it's like, how do you get used to this? Do you feel like, I feel like I'm split. I feel like I, I can feel, and I don't mean to, to say this in any way because I believe the human's a hero, but I feel this density, this heaviness that grounds me here. But at the same time, like you were just saying a minute ago, I can't say it the way you did, but there's also all this other stuff going on. And my body's out there experiencing or at least at least aware of it on the peripheral of it and knowing it's there and it's getting closer and closer and closer. And there's so many predictions and prognostications over the last few years. And this is going to happen and that's going to happen. Yeah. I feel like it's right there in front of us now. Yeah, we're we're right in the middle of it now. It, it, it's it's just I mean, many are speaking about this event thing. You know, I mean, I I'm, and there's so many dates given. You know, I I I don't really care much about dates. I care about what I'm feeling. I care about what's, you know, what's I sense in the present moment what I what what I'm told, you know. But it's just now there's it's just so much expansion. It's just and as I say, it's, it's almost liquid. It's it's just like uh, I feel like this density is 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 uh, you can see it with <clears throat> you can see it with your eyes. You can feel it yeah. that yeah. you are just on a total different level now. Yeah. Yes, you're on a total yeah. different level, and you are really. You know, as I said, stripped down to the core. Yeah. Yes, uh, and that, of course, um, it can be challenging. You know, for example, I'm blessed. I live in the countryside. You know, uh, I will not imagine how you can. It will be very challenging if you are in the middle of a big city or something. Yeah. You know, because nature is so important now that can really help us. Because you said what, how to. To, to, to deal with these energies and, and to kind of settle in with it, merge yeah. with it. it. It's more like, I don't feel it so much about grounding. It's, it's simply about merging in with it, becoming part of this fluidity because um, it's like a consciousness. It's a consciousness field that you're in. So... Yeah. You know, it's not like, oh, now I can anchor into the earth, you know, and, and there's gravitation, all that. It's like we have even transcended gravitation. We, we are floating in space. Now we yeah. can really feel what is this really this experience about. We used to have this experience of being dumped down on the earth, you know, yeah. like just standing here and you have upside oh, and you have downside, <laughs> you know, and, and now you're just like, yeah. You know, not that I, I, for my experience, I don't feel non-grounded at all, yeah. though I'm 
floating in space, you know. Yeah. So, and I can say for one, it took me many years yes. to ground uh, because I didn't really want to be here, you know. I wanted to go home. So it took me some 35, 37 years before I really learned to ground at that point. But at that time, the energies were different, yes. Uh, so, so I know what it means not to be grounded, uh, but, uh, this now, uh, it's just like it, it, it's, you have transcended that it, it's just now because it's, you are, everything is inside of you. You can really have this experience now. This is something we've heard for years, but it wasn't, it wasn't, um, possible to have that. Uh, experience not uh, in the way that we have now so so when you ground it's just like you know the great central sun is within your heart you know it's, yeah. everything is within and it's in every cell so um so the way really to ground if you want to speak a grounding about that so that's really just to be fully present within your heart within the tiny mm -hmm. space of your heart that's the way you can ground if you want to ground, but it is really this experience now for me, and I think for many that it, it's 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 liquid, it's fluid, you know, and so it's it's this huge. Uh, we are transcending this density, uh, so yeah. uh, it's more like everything is becoming an organic field. Uh, it's pure consciousness, everything, yeah. and so when you really can settle in and uh, just become one with that energy that's then you're just aligned you're just aligned with everything so it's just about being in the heart yeah because when you're in the heart you're aligned with everything well i think too you know to your point too uh, the thing about being in the country i'm getting downloads <laughs> in the last three yes. minutes but yes. uh, is it, well being in the country I was talking to these these two beautiful souls today on the last the show before this. They met in New York, New York City. Mm. And I spent some time in New York City and I said, wow, you know, you, you guys woke up in New York City. Um, but I think what it is, it's 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 easier to to find that uh, that alignment. Uh, you don't have to look as deep. You can find it anywhere. You could find it everywhere, of course. Yeah. yeah. But I love yeah. what you say, too, because as what's been coming out on these shows over the last few weeks is, you know, the human is the hero. The, yeah. There's a reason we're, we're consciously conscious, mostly now in this particular aspect. And, and when you say like, for me, I don't, when I ground now, I don't close my eyes. I walk mm. around or I could be in a room and I just observe everything that's there. And, yeah. and like you said, being present, this is, this is where our power is. This is yes. it. And the other yes. thing too, that you bring up that I know a lot of people can relate to is all this time we went through all this stuff. And so many times we said, why, 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 why am I doing this? But no one's listening. Why am I doing this? But I don't see any progress. You know, Morgan and other people have said, there's going to come a time when we are going to be really busy really busy and needed and i think that time is coming i think it's here yeah i think it's yeah here. juan yes, jose vallejo Savicos, our brother from spain he yes. just pointed out he just pointed out that there's going to be a fourth three 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 this month and that's going to be on the 30th so yes. that's that's important too yes uh, so i actually wanted to um conclude what i was talking about the equinox uh, yes. So what I was told from my guides was that um, so now it's it's really a which I have now put out um, a clarion call a collective clarion call for uh, humanity as a whole to step into service now to really yes. get on with it now and so I was uh, shown and told by my guides that. Um, um uh, i will offer an um event uh, there will be an event on the equinox that i will host together with stella fairbane yeah. and um so you're all invited of course and uh, there's already over 400 that have signed up so wow. uh, people are really 
so hot, you know, they really are so ready and it's just, and you can really feel it. It's like this bubbling energy. People are just, wow, you know, I just want to get on with this now because I got this vision in my heart, you know, and I want to bring it on now, you know. And uh, so, um, and in this uh, activation uh, at this equinox, um, it, it will be, of course, as always, there will be many higher beings of light that will support us in this. Um, uh, but it's the Elohim, which I've worked with for many years, that um, will overlight this equinox um, activation that we will be doing. And um, there you will... Um, there is a guided meditation and you will be taken to, uh, I won't say too much, but anyhow, so uh, everyone who's ready really to step into service now, you will receive uh, your divine ray of service. Because when you incarnated in this incarnation, yes, which was all a preparation for the ascension, for what we are going to do now because we are going to ascend while in the body we are going to manifest a new heaven on earth so all that was lying before was the preparation for now and to pre pre prepare for that we all incarnated on a different divine ray whether it's blue ray violet whatever they're different colors to serve us in this incarnation in this 3D density that we grew up with. Some of us really grew up in heavy, toxic um, environments. So before we incarnated, we chose a ray to incarnate on. It's not like, so you are that ray forever and ever. You know, you can choose, you know, and it is chosen before you incarnate which ray you are incarnating on. And so this ray has been serving us up to this point, but because now new tasks are coming, we are, it, it, it's total switch now into manifesting the new heaven on earth. And so in this activation, we will be giving our flame of divine service. We will switch the, the divine ray, the color of the divine ray, and we will uh, receive that. So that will cater for um, the best for all the tasks that we have um, um, in, in, in anchoring in the new heaven on earth and supporting in building up and catching up all those, you know, the masses, you know, yeah. because there will, there, there will, and it, it's happening now uh, everywhere around us. Um, so we will switch to that divine ray that will serve as it's the divine ray of service and we will each um, receive a different one of course the soul monad would have the same yeah. ray so this will will be given uh, per divine decree you just have to uh, ask for this so of course you don't need to participate in that activation to do that everyone can ask that and will be given uh, but there is a event that uh, that we have for this equinox, and there's a divine, um, there's a guided meditation, and there's also a sound emanation to anchor in the 144,000 frequency, uh, the harmonics of creation of the Elohim. So that's the master keys and codes of the Elohim, Where is and that. Who's the conduit for that, for the sound harmonic? Uh, that's you? Stella. That's why I do it with Stella. Okay. She is a, a fantastic I channel. Know she is. I know she's fantastic, is. Uh, and everything she does is just so divine. She's and coming on so, this month, and I'm I'm really excited about that. Yeah, great. So, and, and Stella and I, we are the same soul monad, and uh, we both uh, we are very connected through Andromeda. Uh, but also through many other constellations. Um, so we have uh, started to do a lot of things together. We are soul monads, so that's how that came up. And um, so, um, so she ha will channel this uh, sound harmonics, and it will be blended with a guided meditation that 
I have been a conduit for, which is already made now. And this link will then be given at this activation because normally the activation that I have been hosting with the Acturians and other galactics, galactics have been uh, mostly or almost entirely um, light activations where there are no links and anything. It's just that I connect with the group synergy, the group energy, and then uh, I work together with as my Acturian high self with the Acturians and sometimes with other galactics. So that's purely um, through light and vibration, right? So this time there's a link that will be posted to the uh, page, to the event page. And uh, so um, these sound harmonics that so beautifully come through Stella uh, will, will be grounded also in this activation. That will support uh, our, us stepping into divine service because this 100, 144,000 frequency is the frequency of the Elohim, and that's that is the um, they are calling the builders, right? They are the of the angelic hierarchy. I don't like the word hierarchy, but it's just like a role, like let's say, like that. They are serving. They are serving at 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 the throne of God, implementing God's goddess will, divine yeah. will, and it so seems- we can co and and that's where we need to step in now as co-creators, you know, really embodying this Elohim, the co-creators, pure source energy, because it is in our DNA. And uh, so it will also be activated in this, uh, through this Equinox portal and uh, this um, Equinox event that um, we will host. I think this is a big deal. And I think another thing I see happening out there, I see happening with you. It's happening with me. It's happening with others around me. I won't name any names, but, you know, all this stuff that we've gotten over the years, you know, this stuff that's not made any sense in in the human world, in, in, in this realm, that's gone against conventional wisdom and societal, you know, conditioning. It, we've always, even... I remember uh, Marita Shashan was on uh, three or four months ago, and I remember her telling me she's done this work for 20 years and defied everything in her life. And yes. she said until six months prior to that show, she said, I thought I was the only one out here doing it. Pretty yeah, much. okay. Yeah. So okay. there's more and more people doing it. And what I'm getting at is I think we're in a, um, we're in a space now of confidence, of spiritual mm. confidence. So I think that we can now say, you know what, this isn't just stuff that I'm hearing. This mm. is really going on. This is really why I'm true. here. And, and what, makes it, what makes it really, really dynamic is that at the same time, we can actually create and live a life as Todd or as Grace, as you exactly. found that place over there. But we still have this mission and this mission mm. to expand uh, Mother Goddess's outer, outer breath. You know, I mean, to expand yes. creation, to take yes. what we came into this world with and combine that with our experiential aspect, you know, with the, with the actual living and doing it and transforming all of that uh, into yes. a, higher, a higher vibration. This is why we're here. And yeah, it's, it's so out. it's so true. It's so that. true. Uh, you know, and uh, so today for me, it's so true what you're saying now, and it's really you know, I started this journey very early from my 20s. Now I'm plus 50, whatever. I don't even know how old I am. 20, 20, 20 I said. <laughs> 50, 50, whatever, 52, 53, I don't know. But anyway, I started in my 20s. Actually, I mean, from the day I was born, I just knew I came here to shift something, to make a difference. And so I started early and I was like a rebel, you know, from a child, you know, and I just know I had to change things, you know, and I always knew I was different or at least I felt different from others, you know, and, and I just went about doing my things, you know, 
saying things that could provoke others, that could help awaken others, that, you know, just planted seeds here and there. You know, when I started my 20s, you know, and and I had visions very early. And, and then, of course, started the healing process that took many years, you know, because there was a lot of trauma, you know. Um, and, uh, and, 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 and so, and really getting to know this very human aspect, you know, and this self-sabotage going on and all this stuff, you know, which you have just been, first you have to realize it and then you start, you see through it, you see it from a higher perspective and then still it's kind of playing from the sidelines, you know, but I feel now it's just like by the closing of the timelines, uh, it's just now, now we've reached spiritual maturity, you know, as you said, confidence. Yeah. Because we we have playing this co thing for such a long time where the ego was too intervening all the time. And actually, I decided for myself today, now I just show up. Uh, I don't give a shit, you know, you know, right. because I have noticed myself because I don't like to be on camera, you know, I, and it took me so much uh, courage the first times to come on camera, but that was not me. That was ego. You know, how do people think about me? How do I look? <laughs> I'm saying something clever. Am I misunderstood? You know, all these. We stuff, almost yes. disappeared the first time you were on. <laughs> yes, yes, that's true. Yes, yes. And um, so, and, and then, of course, it's something I've been feeling the last months, weeks, increasingly, that uh, it's just like after the closing of all those timelines, uh, it's just like this old incarnational story and with everything attached to it, the roles you played and all this stuff, though you have been healing it and all that, it has still be some kind that has still some kind of imprinted you on some level. Yeah. And then, so today I really decided I'm just, you know, going to show up because I've noticed myself sometimes on camera after when I've seen things and I thought, yeah. Yes, you're so jumping around, and you're so yeah. kind of. Yeah, yes, I've seen how 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 um, because that I was such a bit of what is his name? I was so um. <clears throat> yes. Uh, but that's what you were talking jumping about. Jumping, jumping, yes, jumping around in a way, uh, uh, trying to hide myself in a way because though I mean I got nothing to hide, I'm here, but. It's just this, um, instead of just saying, okay, I'm, I'm being here, I'm fully present, I'm love, that's who I am. And uh, through our lives, you know, we had tried to, you know, being out there, uh, being aware we are here to make a difference, yeah. and then still to be somehow, questioning, you know, deal with this human part of it, you know, and uh, so, so any, anyway, now it's much easier. Um, and I think we, everyone is feeling that now yeah. that yeah. we can just all, also, you know, to, to really, because this has been the challenge. And I think that's maybe the last half year or something. I mean, it's been going on for, for years, of course, implementing the higher aspects. I mean, I mean, the Elohim came to me in 2009, you know, and told me you're Elohim, you know, and, you know, I couldn't question it because they were just overlighting me and I was just in tears and tears and tears for hours. So I couldn't question it. And, and they said, you're going to go out that you're going to embrace this aspect of yourself. So I did. It took me a long time, but it has been a process to embody more and more and to relax into it, to relax into it and to frequency. just accept it. It's the frequency. Yes. It's not the words. It's yes. not the words, Grace. You're, you know, everyone's exactly. making comments. It's, it's your frequency. And, and, and just to accept it and own that yeah. vi um, vibratory rate, you know, that you are, that frequency to just be it. And when you can relax into that, you, you are, you are that. You are everything. You're healing. You are 
grace, you are love, you are divine joy, you know, you are everything. So you, just how, allowing that. How do you feel about connecting now to Arturians, to Magdalene, to Mother Mary? I feel connected all the time. How do you feel about putting a little music behind you and seeing what comes out? Okay. Just to emanate the... Just whatever happens. Yes, yes. Let's, okay. Let's see what happens. Yes. Let's see what happens. Okay. Spontaneous, imaginative, creative, intuitive, and courageous. And you're courageous. Yes. Okay, just open your heart, everyone, and blend into one. Be not afraid to let go of your old self. Do not afraid, do not be afraid. To feel the immensity of love, and to expand and become one. In this space where you no longer exist on one level, but you become all with everything, a pulsating field of consciousness. the joy fill your heart remember the paradise the infinite love That is you. That has always been and always will be. Allow yourself to unfurl your wings of freedom, of freedom to be the love that you are with no constraints. and leave behind all haps, haps too and just be one with the divine flow of creation. 
Asia. Mm. Wow. <clears throat> this, this is um, this is very much the Lemurian energy, also the that is coming through the energy of the divine feminine, where we are not. It's like life is living itself through us. We don't do things. We we it's through the being that life live itself through us we become instruments of love we don't decide what to do we simply letting ourselves be taken by the flow and we will instinctively know where to be what to say or just to be, and things happen through us. There is no have to, and so you can say the mind is not evol uh, involved in that process. It can implement the things. That's the when the divine masculine comes in to serve the divine feminine. So being in this divine flow in the heart space of pure grace in this being you are an instrument of divine will and um, this is very much where we are as a collective now to really materializing embodying this divine feminine in union, of course, with the divine masculine, but it's more the Lemurian energy as the um, Atlantean energy was more the divine masculine. The Lemurian energy is the divine feminine. And um, I also wanted to share because Joseph, Joseph of Arimathea, that um, he was known as the uncle of Jesus. Yeah. Uh, he was the one that had started to turn up uh, with me. I have not dealt with him um, very much in the past. Actually, I haven't dealt with him at all. And that's the one that then suddenly turned up while I was in the shower. They told me to take a group of souls to um, Scotland, to the Outer Hebrides to make this big uh, activation that we are going to do in uh, June. Also, I'm going to do that with Stella. I talked about it in the last show. Yes. But um, Joseph of Arimitea, he talked to me uh, today about the importance of the divine masculine now. Because everyone is talking about the divine feminine, which has been needed that we have healed the divine feminine in us. But now it's important to really also give space for the divine masculine because um, this is, and they're also to heal the divine masculine, uh, the, the masculine wounds, because yes. we have not been in a place of doing this until we've healed the divine feminine wounds. We have not been able to really embody the, the, the fully, healed divine masculine we, we simply wouldn't we wouldn't have been able to because there was just two deep wounds so we would have rejected it and now it's really like the time now where we must um, really also give space to the divine masculine and to understand the divine masculine how important the divine masculine is to um, even to nurture the divine feminine and to act out, uh, to implement all the guidance uh, that comes through her because she's connected with um, the womb of creation. She's aligned with divine will. So she's, uh, she has been now the, uh, the chalice the, uh, has been turned over to the divine feminine now after thousands and thousands of years. 
So this was happening around the shift uh, um, after New Year. And so uh, she now has the scepter for the divine leadership now. It yeah. uh, doesn't mean that she's more than the divine masculine, of course not, but they do play different roles. And because she is naturally aligned with the cosmic womb of creation, she is the, 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 um, yes. the natural shepherd, yes, for creation. Uh, and, and, and so she is aligned with that wisdom uh, has a much more um, direct connection with it. So it is now important that she is giving uh, space in us, which uh, many of us have felt the call really to, to surrender to the divine feminine. And many, many have worked on healing the divine feminine so that you can have the, 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 the balanced divine feminine and masculine and can unite into divine union. Yes. So after this has been done, it's just important to, to really validate or to, you know, how important also that the divine masculine is. Yes, yes. so that we really also give that space so we don't get too focused on divine feminine. So it's really in this beauty, in this divine embrace of the two, that this full harmony um, can take place and we can be fully instruments of divine will and, Im and implement that into the world to, to materialize the new heaven on earth. It's time. It's yes. time. He carries sacred yes. wisdom too. Yes, absolutely, absolutely, and and he is, he is also and the wound of the, the the masculine is of course because he was also uh, 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 amputated in a way because he was you know not allowed access to his feelings. He was told you it's a sign of weakness, you know it's not masculine, it's not it's a sign of weakness if you are uh, because. <laughs> I mean, you can't separate them two. Within the divine uh, masculine is the divine feminine, and within the divine feminine is the divine masculine. We talk about them separately, but in a way, they are both within both halves, if you, if yeah. you like, right? So the masculine has also suffered a lot, you know, through not having um, been allowed to show his feeling, has not been allowed to show weakness, uh, uh, and uh, so, so it's important that all this uh, will be embraced now, accepted now, and will just be healed in the grace of her love, and and and, and in their merging into one, they both of them will be in divine union with themselves and unite into one, and so the soul monad and source energy can. Fully, the I am that I am uh, can descend into our body. That we can, that's really what the ascension is about. That your soul, in oneness with source, with all that is, can descend soul, you know, as you say, I am soul. And that you really, with all yourself, with all your being, you say, I am soul, and you just radiate that, and it's so, 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 so powerful. And when you say, I am soul, you are all that is, and you are, you know, you don't need to connect with everything. You are that. You are just being in your heart. And that's, the, you know, the most powerful thing you can say, I am that I am. I am soul. The moment you say it, or you just think it or feel it. I mean, you don't, you know, some people, you know, take a crystal, light an incense, close the eyes or whatever, but you just need to just, you know, I am soul, I am that I am. And then you are aligned. You're one with all that is. And so all that is, is at your feet, you know, it's at, at your disposal, yes. And so you are the omnipresence of God and Goddess. You are uh, the Akashic field. 
divine wisdom, divine love, grace, joy, abundance. You are all that is. And to just allow for that, embrace that, own it. And this is important for many of us now, you know, really because it has been or is for many scary just to embrace that. But it's just because this is the greatest power that we have, that we have also in incarnations. We have maybe misused it also, but now we have come to the spiritual maturity. We can close the doors behind us now. The bridges have burned and now we can really step into our divine sovereignty as soul, as the I am that I am. And that's really this divine sovereignty. Also, you know, to own this divine innocence, you know, we are innocent, you know. This, as Jesus said, be like the children. This is this purity, the this purity of the children, you know. And, and it, it's in that energy that everything is possible. All the magic takes place through that vibration. Uh, that's really because a child believe, you know, if I want to move that mountain, I can then well move that mountain, you know, it believes in it. And it's just owning that vibration. And so when we start really to fully own that, there is no limitations to what we can do. So it's really what's up now is really to perform miracles. To, to allow for all these wondrous things, you know, also that Jesus talked a lot about, you know, you shall do greater things. Yeah. And I grew up with that imprinted in my heart and I just knew it. I, 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 and I stated to myself again and again, I, I kind of, it was kind of my mantra throughout my life. I don't know, it just was, it was just like running in the background somehow, you know. And uh, it's really for us now to just be that joy and just allow it and really just that, you know, whatever we have done in this, I would say, previous incarnation now that we have stepped out of now, it's really to, you know, as the timelines have closed, you know, we, we can try to keep a foot in the old uh, but it's just it doesn't work it feels better to 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 just jump into this big void of yes disorientation maybe at first or you know confusion but when you just allow and settle into that and not trying to grab hold of anything to figure out to stop trying to figure out stop trying to be in control just say, okay, I'm just gonna, you know, I'm just gonna face and see what's gonna happen. I'm just gonna jump in here and see what's Own gonna it. happen. And own it. You're owning it. Yes. What do you say? I said you're owning it. Own it. Yes, exactly. Owning, owning it. it, exactly. Owning that vibration. So this is exactly where we are standing now, each one of us, uh, and this, and that's what's happening now. There's really this big opening now into this big void. Yes, this is what is happening now in in, in March. If you, uh, you know, it's, it's it's like a huge portal, and you you can just step into this big void now. Yes. And uh, so um, it's up to each each of us to yes to own it to step into our sovereignty and just really it's about saying yes just saying yes and do all the things that make you saying yes don't go into considerations don't go into um, relationships that that that. Was, that, that triggers a no in, in any way. Do things that make you say yes. Do what's good for you, you know. Choose, and even if you don't know how and what and when, you know, just be like a child, be adventurous, uh, or even be silly, just saying, okay, I'm just going to do it. I'm not going to know, know what's going to happen. Uh, 
<laughs> own it. <laughs> exactly. Own it. Yes. You know what's crazy is uh, I never heard of the uncle of Jesus, Joseph, right? Until today, twice. Twice it's come up. And seven years ago, when I got my download, I downloaded and I wrote a book in four days yeah. about, I don't know, past life or whatever. I don't know how that all works. But then about a month later, I got this download from this guy, Joseph. And I thought yeah. it was Joseph from, you know, Mother Mary and Joseph, but it wasn't. Yes, yes. And I always knew it wasn't. And he, and I wrote this book, which I never put out, but it was about 40, 44 scrolls. Yeah. That had been that had been um, transcribed before Jesus, right? Yeah. And wow! Never, you have to those out. Talk. <laughs> I got them somewhere on a on a hard drive, but uh, I mean on a flash drive. But but the thing was, is uh, I never I never even remembered that until until you mentioned wow. until you mentioned this yeah. a few minutes ago. So there's got to be some synchronicity to that. Yeah. Yes. Um, so, so yes, so um, Joseph of Arimathea, you know, um, he has, uh, he was known as the uncle of Jesus, and he also came to, uh, you know, after uh, the crucifixion. I just make because <laughs> he didn't really die, you know, but he went uh, uh, to to Europe and come came to the British Isles, Glastonbury, and he also went up to Scotland where yeah. we are actually going and the place that uh, I will be going with the group of people together with Stella Fairbain in June uh, that's uh, and I talked about it a, li a little last time uh, I was kept on hearing um, started last year I was kept on being called to the Outer Hebrides Outer Hebrides I don't know anything about the Outer Hebrides and then I he heard Kalanish 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 so uh, Later on, when I went to Google it and I saw what it was, I was just mind blown because I didn't know about this stone circle. It's one of the, it's actually the oldest stone circle in Europe, the Kalanis stone circle. Uh, and, um, and Joseph, he came to me in the shower and I was very surprised because Joseph, I remember, what he's doing here, you know, because I have been a channel for many years and I've never had anything to do, but he was just coming in so strongly. Uh, I was just in tears and tears and tears. And he kept staying with me for days, actually, uh, and kept on giving me downloads, more and more information. Uh, and so he said that this Calendly Stone Circle is in direct alignment with the Office of the Christ which is on Andromeda. And actually this stone circle is directly aligned with Andromeda. And um, Joseph told me, and that's probably why he's also coming into play now and becoming more active uh, and, and, and coming into the attention of, because I've heard others that have said he's kind of coming up now, Joseph. Uh, because he's the spokesperson for the uh, Office of the Christ. And what we are doing in Scotland is actually a bringing together of many people that are the ground crew of the Office of the Christ. We are aspects of um, some of our higher aspects are serving in the Office of the Christ on Andromeda. And uh, we have been called to come together in Scotland in that Calanist Stone Circle. Uh, to basically anchor in uh, this um, Christ Codex of uh, an anti office on Christ on the new heaven on earth. Yes, yeah, so that's what we're going to do there. And uh, of course, uh, Joseph of Arimathea, he's really representing that healed divine masculine in such a beautiful mm, way. And uh, uh, he 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 has been known also uh, in other incarnations, uh, several incarnations where he has been uh, here as an ascended master, also as Saint Germain, which he was. That's the same from the same soul monad. You would say it's the same soul, not the same soul, the same soul monad. 
So he has been here, Saint Germain also, and in, I can't remember the others, there are others. Um, so, um, so he, see, he is, um, making himself aware in different people's life now because it's, it, he has some very important information also to share. And it's also important now that also the divine masculine will now be fully integrated with us all. So, so he actually came in today also with me and yeah, I'm just so blessed. Um, so we are thanking him now for being part of this session today for everyone to feel. Yeah. And I invite everyone now to really connect in your heart with Joseph of Aramitea and to really ask to really be connected with this um heal form of the masculine the divine masculine yeah. to really connect with that divine way and you can do that through connecting in your heart with a joseph that are here now with us so and invite every one of you to do that now mm. yeah mm. and to feel his loving caring energy And let's bless all the men that have hurt us, that have disappointed us, that have taken disadvantage of us. Let's bless the divine masculine and embrace his grace into our heart to unite with the divine feminine in oneness. Let's celebrate! Yeah. It's graduation Own it. time! Yeah! Own it. Own it! Grace, you're beautiful. Thank you. Perfect timing. I knew it was going to be an incredible show. Yeah. And for those of you who are asking Grace to come back, she's been on four times, or maybe five times. We're definitely going to come back. She's part of this. Part of this collective energy we call always a pleasure with you, my brother. I love you so much, and I love you all, dear family. That all here, I have I haven't got my glasses on because they they yeah. so I don't see who is all there, but I'm I'm yeah. fed up with the glasses, so I, I have clear people. vision, clear vision now. That's what so I'm hoping. I, yes, so all right. I love you. Thank you, you take everyone. Care. Thank you everyone for joining us and for embracing and owning who you are and being in divine union, stepping into sovereignty now, owning who you are.
you are love you are divine you are soul you are wonderful beyond measure i love you love you love you see you later you take see care. you thank you so much bye bye bye, -bye.